Welcome to episode 100 of the Royal Family. I'm so, so excited for this episode. I have so many things in store for you. As you guys can see, this episode is longer than most, so we will get to cover so many new things. We're going to discover so many things, as you guys can see from the title. We're going to be discovering two new kingdoms, and we're going to be also paying attention to the different, like our main favorite characters. We'll be paying attention to Amira and Makai, and also Kellen and Megan, so it'll be just so much fun. I'm so excited, you guys. So if you're looking forward to this episode, give this video a big thumbs up, hit that like button, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on your notifications and let's go ahead and begin episode 100 of The Royal Family. Okay guys, well first let's start. This is the first thing that popped up when I just opened my game. Prince or Queen Nea just had a baby boy. So this is her first baby boy because she has already had three girls. So she's had another baby now. So this is so exciting. So we, I, we're gonna name him Prince Manuel because that's what I promised a viewer I would name. I know people said I thought you were going to name him Sahar, but if it was the heir, if he was the firstborn boy, I would have named him Sahar because that was one of the past king's name because then he would have been King Sahar. So I think I'm gonna save that for like the next heir that's a boy, um, but I was just so excited. And then I also know that Queen Na Nina's name, father's name was Manuel, um, but I actually didn't think about that. It's not named after him, this is named after one of the viewers they had requested a long time ago that I named them Man Manuel, and I also don't know when Johan's gonna have kids, so I think we're just gonna do this now. So Prince Manuel, the first baby boy of Oasis Springs, so that's so, so exciting, you guys. So. We first are starting out, guys, at the royal family of Windenburg's palace because I know you guys saw from the cutscene, it's just going to take like a little bit of time for them to all travel and like find the first place that they're gonna go. So we're kind of gonna go like jump back and forth between things and like stories in this episode and it's just going to be a lot of fun. So the very first thing we're going to do is focus on Prince Kellen because I want him to invite over Princess Megan so they're going Going to invite to hang actually you know what well okay you know what he's probably going to ask her on a date so I'm gonna have them go on a date really quickly so I'm gonna do that real quick okay so I have brought Kellen and Megan to the island bluffs because I was just thinking okay so it has been several weeks since they or it's been several weeks since the last episode so it's been they've, they've now been together for several weeks because they got together i think like two episodes ago so i feel like kevin and or kevin kellen and megan they have just been like like they've been kind of inseparable in, in inseparable um since they started dating again just because like they missed each other so much and although megan was kind of like like she didn't want to be queen that's why she didn't really want to get back together with him but now since kellen's not going to become the king of windenburg anymore she is just like like now she feels like she could be with him and then i think then she realized how much she missed him and all of that too so I feel like now this is the first time that Kellen and Megan have gotten the chance to really like talk about it and I feel like this is the first time Kellen's telling her like I missed you so much like I know I was going through like a rough time and I'm so sorry I was like still like really young and I didn't really know how to like express my feelings but like I feel like I've learned a lot since like my sister passed away and and all this stuff so i feel like they're actually talking i think obviously like megan had grown and like kind of discovered what she wanted to do during their time apart too so i feel feel like now she's like telling him what she like really wants to do in life like I feel like she's telling him I just kind of discovered that I really just want to travel the world and I really just want to kind of see what's out there beyond like Oasis Springs and, and Windenburg and like Willow Creek like places I've been to like so many times like like being a princess like you don't get to kind of like travel as much as you would like to so so I feel like he's listening to this and telling her like I want to travel with you like I want to be with you, I wanna make a difference with you, and if like this is what you wanna do, like that sounds amazing and I'd like love to be a part of it and I wanna be a part of your life and I never wanna lose you again. So I think he's going to propose to her, you guys, but I also think they might actually elope because I feel like he's just like, I don't want, like I feel like they both agreed, like they don't want a huge wedding with like everyone, so 
I, I, I don't think they want to like deal with that situation. I mean, Megan kind of has like an overbearing mother. Kellen has so many siblings that like he, he's just like his parent, like his dad is just so busy with everything too. And Weir's got her own problems right now also. So yeah, I think that they're going to elope you guys. So like, yes, it was a proposal, but I feel like he's saying like, I want to marry you like right now. Like, I, I think they're going to elope. Obviously you need like a minister or someone to technically marry them, but I feel like they've officially decided like they're going to elope and like what better place than like the place that his father got engaged, like his father proposed to Queen Evangeline here. So yeah, guys, okay, so they're eloping now. Oh my God, look at that sun glare though. Like that's amazing. Oh guys, cool, this is awesome. Oh my gosh. Oh guys, this is so romantic. I love this a lot. Okay. Okay, so guys, they're eloping now. So Kellen and Megan are eloping. So this might actually be like, I don't know if if his parents or her parents are gonna be upset. I don't think they're gonna be that upset just because they've got like so many kids and it's not like they're missing out on a wedding or anything like that. But this is Kel or this is Henry's first child to get married. So they, I mean, they definitely sped into this and obviously they've been together like since they were very, very young. So it's not like this is like some random woman that he's eloping with. So I feel like that's what kind of makes a difference. But guys, this is so cute. Okay, so they have officially gotten married. So they are going to have to move in together. I don't think we're gonna do that right now because they still have to kind of like tell their parents, but I think they are going to like tell them we're gonna travel the world together and yeah, so guys, yes. Okay, so they've gotten married at like sunset here too. Like that was actually very, very beautiful. I'm so, so excited for them. So they do have to go home. They have to tell like his his father and her mother. So I think they're gonna have to do a, a little gathering for that. But guys, they just eloped. Okay. Okay, so that was Kellen and Megan. So I just wanted to like touch base with them first. Okay, so as you guys saw in the little short scene before this video, well, and also as you saw in the last video, so I did have a glitch where I had some families go missing and I it worked so well in my favor because I had been planning this for a very long time. I had not been planning the glitch, but it just, worked out perfectly and you guys are going to see why. So I just turned it into the story and it is, I'm just so excited guys. Okay, so as you guys can see from the short scene, King Jared of Brindleton Bay is going to search with his son for the royal or for the noble families that went missing and Corinne demanded to go with them and her husband Prince Louis insisted on coming too that wasn't in the short scene but like that's basically what happened so he's insisting on coming too but she said like no you have to help your parents like watch our kids like we have four kids we're not just gonna like leave them with with your parents like they're getting older like you don't know if they're gonna be able to handle all of them so like let me go and King Jared just promised Prince Louis that they are going to watch over her. They're going to protect her. Like he doesn't have to worry about a thing. Like they should be back in like a week or so. So basically the lead that King Jared got was that Lord Graham, or not Lord Graham, sorry, uh, Baron Graham and Baroness Diana. So apparently Baroness Diana's uncle lives in Selva Dorado. So, or Selva Dorada, sorry. Oh my God. I have to like learn how to say that. Yes, yeah, so Selva Dorada. So basically her uncle is the king of Selva Dorada. And and no one knew about that. And apparently it's like this kind of unknown place that like no one has really ever heard of. Like she never told anyone that she had family there and no one's like heard of this kingdom here. So they're kind of traveling here. Like I think people have been here in the past, but like they didn't know that there was like a whole like civilization and like, like a monarchy and like a system going on here too. I think they've kind of just been in like the outskirts of the town and all that. So this is their first time going here guys. So basically the people that are traveling are Princess Corinne. King Jared and Prince James. So Prince Johan and his mother are back at home, kind of like making sure everything's handled, like just in case those families do somehow show back up. Um, but they wanted to like follow this lead. So they have found out about the Baroness Diana's of, of her uncle. So they had to like kind of find out more information and like figure out where Selva Dorada is and all that. So they've kind of like traveled. So I figured they've like kind of actually gone through these woods. So they've been traveling for like over 24 hours. So they've kind of like gone through these woods and like had to ask people like, how the heck do you get, how the heck do you get here? There's no bridge like going in between. So I guess they had to figure that out. I don't know if they had to like swim here or something, but they have made it here somehow. So guys, they have gone here 
to the Palace of Salvadorada. So I have already knocked on their door, so they have invited us in. So basically what we're going to do, there's like so many floors here. Also, um, this is, <laughs> I did not realize I was there. That's a little bit freaky. So Corinne and everyone, so they basically have like requested to talk to the king. So this palace, you guys, this will be interesting. So we're, I'm not gonna be able to like show you too much of everything, but I am going to come up with the create a sim videos throughout this week of this family and the other family that you guys are gonna see too. So you guys can see them and while like I'm making them and you guys are seeing me making them, like I'll kind of explain everything as I'm making them as well. So you guys will get to learn about like their family and like, like a little bit more like any information you wanna know about these royal families because we're not going to be able to like touch on them and like the family members too much but like you guys will learn that in the create a sim videos so this right here is the king so this is king Cayman. so we have to do a friendly introduction we all have to introduce ourselves to him so as you guys can see uh jared is feeling very uncomfortable just because they've been traveling for so long it's a lot they would honestly probably have like some sort of like other like a, this group of of like bodyguards and all that with them i just didn't want to like create all that so i feel like this is enough like they've kind of sent other people out on like search parties so there's a lot of people looking for Corinne's family and for Baron, Baron Graham's family as well. So it's just like a lot, guys. It's, there's a lot of people searching, but they decided to come here obviously because they're king, so they wanted to like talk to the king themselves. So, oh, whoa, 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 okay. So this right here is King Cayman. So you guys will get to see in the Creative Sim videos that I'm going to post in the next few days as well. You guys will get to like learn about them. Like their style is kind of like, it's almost kind of like steampunk, but also I've also found some really great African clothing for mostly, mostly just like the women, not really for the men. Um, so I had to go with like mix it between like a sort of like steampunk thing. So you'll kind of see like the style of the outfits is, is a lot different, but I just cause I wanted to like create like the different styles and everything with them too. So they have met him. So I, they kind of like tried to send someone ahead or like a message ahead saying they were coming. So he's talking to them, especially Especially since like his niece knows King Jared. I'm gonna change this outfit too. Um, but especially since his niece knows King Jared, like he's very receptive of them. So basically he's telling them oh, like, oh yeah, I haven't spoken to my niece in like a really long time. Like, how is she? And they're like, well, she has disappeared and so is her family. So he's horrified that his, his niece has gone missing, but he hasn't spoken to her in a really long time too. So he's just kind of saying like, I'm sorry. Like she, like they're not here. She's not here. I don't, I haven't spoken to her in a while, but I have heard rumors about a neighboring kingdom. It's a very small kingdom, but a neighboring kingdom and about Sims disappearing there. And I think you guys should check it out. It's this kingdom called Glimmerbrook, but as the natives call it, it's actually called Guangxi, um, and Guangxi actually is a form of Glimmerbrook in Chinese. You guys will get to meet them soon too. Oh god, Queen Alice's spirit is fading. We're gonna have to fix that later. So this is the information that he's telling him. I feel like King Jared is asking, like, why have we never heard of your kingdom before? Our kingdoms have been established for so long, like, I'm surprised we've never heard of your kingdom. And I feel like he's telling them, like, we like to kind of stay under the radar, and he just, like, doesn't want anything to happen to his people, so I feel like King Jared is telling him that like we will figure this out we will help you and your kingdom he's telling them about their own kingdom princess corinne's telling him about her kingdom too like where she's from so they're saying that like there's all of these kingdoms going on that's his brother right there that you guys just saw past um but there's all these kingdoms a few days of a trip away that you guys have never heard of and i'm sure like these monarchs would love to meet you guys like all these kings and queens they would love to meet you and get to know you as well but like thank you so much for the information and all this stuff so i know it's nighttime right now so you guys can't really see that's actually the queen right there too so this is a queen zamora so she it looks like she has to go to the bathroom that's his wife so i don't know who corinne's talking to right now but okay so oh yeah i should probably change her name because it says princess cory right now so they have officially met the king of salvadorada and guys they've got a great kingdom too they have like their family members kind of like living around them kind of like in sulani so it's just super interesting and, and really cool and i love like the style of this kingdom as well um and they're just beautiful sims too you guys i'm so excited for you guys to see the creative sim videos that i'll be posting i'm not sure which i'll be posting first but i'll be posting like one of the kingdoms first so they've gotten all this information they need they're going to let them all spend the night here so they're going to let corinne james and jared all spend the night here because they've been traveling for like 24 hours they need sleep 
they know his niece, so he's going to be like super kind to them and, and be like a good host and all that. So they're going to spend the night here in Silva Dorada. So this is kind of like our season finale. So I'm introducing like a few new things, leaving some cliffhangers and all that too in this episode. And then the next episode, I'm going to do another Meet the Royals so you guys can see all that. And then next season, we're going to be like getting to know all these royals too. So I know it's a lot of Sims, which I was kind of afraid of, but I think it's going to be so great. And I am making like character descriptions and all for you for you guys to see as well so you guys can kind of like follow everything but it's gonna be a lot of fun you guys okay so we're going to leave them here for the night because they're spending the night here they're getting some rest in the morning they're going to head out to Glimmerbrook which is a new kingdom that they have never heard of before so that's like their next lead that's where King Cayman has kind of told them like that's where things like have been happening we've we've heard of disappearances there like some of my subjects we've heard of them like traveling to Glimmerbrook and then disappearing so we've just tried to kind of isolate ourselves from the world so nothing like that ever happens again so while they spend the night there guys as you guys saw in uh two episodes ago so Amira was talking to Makai so we're actually going to be playing from Makai's point of view in this because so Amira was talking to Makai two episodes ago and then his mother showed up before they could even get the chance to talk so then if they freaked out and we were gonna fight with his mother and it was just this whole big thing and they didn't even really get to end up talking so since this time so it's been a few weeks Amira has still been texting Makai and and calling him and just telling him like I know your mother does not want us to be together but like I just want to talk to you like I just need closure I just need to to talk so Makai's gonna talk to his mom because as you can see so they've got a bit of a romantic relationship and this romantic relationship they because they've been texting so much and I feel like Makai has really been missing her too. But guys, what Amira does not know is that Makai's actually engaged. So apparently Makai is engaged to Hannah. This is an arranged marriage. As you guys can see, there's like no romantic relationship here. Her family was very close to Makai's family growing up and she's always had a huge crush on Makai. So, I mean, he only agreed to this because he thought that him and Amira were like never going to happen again. And then his mother was very kind of like adamant, like you need to get married, like you need to have like a partner to help run Sulani, like help your uncle and help your cousin like run Sulani cause like you've got to play your own part too. So he did agree to marry Hannah. So they got engaged, but Amira doesn't know this guy. So I feel like he's telling, he's got to tell his mother. So he needs to talk to her because I feel like she basically like followed him because she she didn't know where he was going and she kind of got suspicious but I feel like he's telling her the truth now like you need to let me talk to Amira because Amira and I were not seeing each other like I just needed to tell her that I'm engaged and like you have to let me do that so I feel like since he is saying that now his mother is like okay you're right like you need to tell her that you're engaged so you don't see Amira anymore because she despises Amira you guys she does not like her at all I feel like she's just like heard so many things about her that she has just like become to hate her so much. So he's kind of telling her like, you need to let me talk to her. So she's like, okay, go talk to her. Tell her you're engaged. Tell her you can't see her anymore. And Makai's like, okay. So now we need to have them go travel. So Mira doesn't know any of this stuff yet, you guys. So he's going to actually go to the Windenburg Palace. So he's told Amira that he's coming. Um, he's got to, he's telling her like, I'm going to come over so we can talk. Okay, so Makai is now at the Windenburg Palace. So, oh guys, it is very dark and dreary here, isn't it? Okay, so Makai's gonna go talk to Amira. Oh guys, okay, so this is Princess Diana. Oh, he doesn't know Princess Diana? Okay, so he's gotta greet her because he just saw her say like, hi, like, is your sister here? Like, she knows I'm coming. Um, I know it's really early in the morning because it's like 6 a.m., but okay, so they're here to talk. So I think they're going to say, I, he's gonna tell her, like, I need to talk to you. So they're going, Amira looks like she's right here. So we're actually going to have them go talk up here. Okay, so Amira and Makai are talking in Amira's room. So I feel like Amira has told him that like, I, like I've missed you. Like this is what she's been wanting to tell me. She's like, I want to talk first. Like I've missed you so much. Like I, I know that like your mom doesn't want us to be together and like all this stuff. But now Makai is telling her, I'm so sorry. Like I'm engaged. I just thought that like we didn't, like we weren't going to end up together. And like I agreed to an arranged marriage and, and it's been like a while. Like we've been engaged for like a few weeks. We just like haven't been telling anyone because like, he's like, I don't like, I don't love her. Like, and Makai's blushing now you guys too. Oh no guys. Okay. So this is like definitely made her really upset I feel like she thought that like now that like I know like his mother is kind of an issue but maybe we'll be able to still work things out I feel like Makai has kind of like realized how much she likes her too so it's just kind of hard for both of them so she is like very very upset about that obviously but it looks like they're still talking a lot and it also looks like Makai's feeling very flirty I don't 
don't know. This situation is going to be hard. Oh god, okay, now he's doing sit-ups. So guys, I don't really know what's going to happen with them because they, I mean, they're clearly attracted to each other, but he's like just told her that she's engaged and they're talking and I feel like she's just like explaining like, I just have like, I don't know what to do. Like, they don't know what to do, you guys. So this is going to be really, really difficult. Although they are getting really, really close to each other right now. <gasps> oh my God, you guys. <gasps> Oh my god! Okay, clearly this is not stopping them from being together. Oh my god, you guys! Clearly, like, Makai has been convinced, like, I don't know. I don't know if he's going to break the engagement off with Hannah because I feel like he thinks that he can't. So, it's, I feel like he's just kind of, like, his life is very controlled by his parents and, and all this stuff, too. But obviously he really likes Amira. And I don't know what he just did. But they just kissed you guys, so that's a huge thing. So guys, we're going to leave Amir and Makai here because it is um, now the afternoon time. So I think we need to go back to Corinne and Jared and James. Okay guys, so yes, we're leaving Amira and Makai because that's a whole thing we're gonna have to get to into, I think in the next season. So, okay, so just so you guys know, the Selva Dorada, I have made it a livable place by using a mod, and I will put the mod in the description below, the link to the mod in the description below. I don't know if I would say I would recommend it because when you are playing in a family that lives in Selva Dorada, they, and like you leave to travel and come back, your house, like, all of the furniture is removed, all of the doors are removed, and I think all of like the windows and house decorations, like all that's left is like the foundation and the walls, and it's just, it's really weird. So like you would have to save your house or lot to the, to your library to the, in the gallery, and then you, every time you come home, you would have to keep downloading it like back. So it would get a little bit annoying, but if you really, really want your family, like I really wanted to like story-wise for the family to live in Selva Dorada, then I did that. Cause I didn't know how, like I would like to like focus on them from time to time, but I, they're not like our main family, um, but maybe some of their family members will become part of the main story. So, oops, excuse me. Yeah, it, it's just a thing. So just wanted to give you guys that warning before. I might do like a mod review on it or something. I think there is one out there though, um, but it, I don't think they could, like cover that too much. So yeah. Well, just so you disclaimer before you guys download that. Anyway, okay, so I, as you can see, I did add Corinne to their family technically, just cause it's easier to have them all traveling together when we do that. So it is the afternoon time now. So guys, they, like Glimmerbrook is pretty close to Selva Dorada. So they have made it into Glimmerbrook as you guys can see. This right here is, so guys, this is our first time in Glimmerbrook. So this is the first time using the Realm of Magic pack and I'm so excited. So it's funny because before Realm of Magic was announced, I have been planning for these families for quite a while. So I actually had downloaded the mod to let Granite Falls become a livable place. And as you guys can kind of see, like this is very similar to Granite Falls. I picked Granite Falls because it was very mountainous. Like they don't have like these pine evergreen trees, like as you guys can see, so this, royal family, this this world and kingdom, it has very Chinese inspired elements to it. And because of that, I wanted to pick a very mountainous, like rocky with like streams and creeks because that is kind of like all over China. But the only thing is China doesn't have these evergreen trees, but it's fine. The only thing also in Granite Falls, the thing with Granite Falls was that it had a 50 by 50 lot. This one only had a 40 by 30 lot, which I was so disappointed about because I did not originally, you guys can see the Glimmer Book or the the, Sorry, the Glimmer Brook or the Guangxi Palace, as you guys can see, because Guangxi is what the natives, what they call the kingdom, but everyone else calls it Glimmer Brook because that's basically what it translates to. So this is their palace. You guys can see it's kind of like up. It's like very rocky. I was disappointed I couldn't get the, the palace and you guys are gonna end up seeing their palace, um, but I don't, I'm not gonna show you like the full tour of everything, but I had to make some adjustments to it, which was kind of disappointing. But yeah, so you guys can see that. And the thing about the Granite Falls world is that it has a 50 by 50 lot, so I could have done a bigger palace, but then there's also that like kind of beaver looking statue in the middle of everything. And I was like, am I gonna have to like Photoshop like a lion statue onto here? Like it was just a lot. So I decided not to do it there. I decided to do it here. Also to avoid not having the mod and to avoid like less stuff happening to it because I felt like a lot of glitches were gonna happen if we did have that as like a kingdom of like someone living there. So I was trying to avoid that. So this right here, guys, so they are at the 
entrance here so this is kind of like back there like they've traveled for like several hours not it doesn't take as long to get to here as it did to Selva Dorada from Brimbleton Bay so they're kind of closer to Selva Dorada. I want you guys to see this from Princess Corinne's point of view because I just think this is really cool so she's running right now we're going to get to oh and then I forgot that her her like face kind of oh guys this is so cool um so yeah her face kind of follows like wherever you like point so right here on the left we have a lot so that a lot is actually empty because as you guys like what I said that like kind of sims have have disappeared in the past so that's actually an empty lot so we'll kind of learn a little bit about that but guys this is really beautiful I wish I got to do this in Selva Dorada for you guys too but with Selva Dorada it was like already nighttime so like we wouldn't have been able to see much but it looks like we have a sim right over here too and then all right here on the right oh okay so it looks like they actually live in that house right over there so it looks like they were out on like a morning jog or an afternoon jog or something so guys this is very very pretty and then here we have the palace coming up you guys so we're going to have them and knock on the door of the palace as you can see there are a few like little glitches and stuff that I do need to oh okay she's going up here that I do need to fix okay so it actually already became nighttime but I love this first point of view the point of view camera the first point of view camera I love this first point of view mode um I think it's called FOV or something like that but okay so Corinne is going up the stairs of the palace right now so it looks like the emperor is inside you guys and then all the lights turned on this is so cool you guys oh my god okay so guys so this is the emperor so this is emperor Zhao. so he oh okay um so he is here oh my gosh guys i'm so sorry i do not know what's happening to the camera right now so we need to do a friendly introduction and we we need all of them to introduce themselves oh gosh it looks like lady tina was just calling prince james um so we need to do a friendly introduction so we can all meet the Emperor of Glimmerbrook. So it looks like his son is just here with him right now. So they're all going to talk to him. So basically what I need to tell him is like, hey, we've um, heard of your kingdom through King Cayman of Selva Dorada. And I feel like these kingdoms know about each other, but they still like try to keep like a distance from like, like they gotta, they keep themselves isolated because of what's happening with like all the disappearing, but like they don't know much about it. Okay, so they are meeting with him. So, oh no, 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 Prince James, you do not want to sit in their throne. What are you doing? <laughs> okay, Prince James, yeah. Okay, let the Emperor sit in their throne. Um, so they are talking to the Emperor. So they're telling him, like, I, I feel like King Cayman might have given him a heads up because like they don't just see people, you know? So I feel like they had to give him sort of a heads up like they were coming. So like you're, you're gonna be expecting them. But I feel like the emperor is being very guarded and and just kind of like they're explaining like Corinne saying her her family is gone and like they don't know where they are and, and the emperor's kind of being quiet and kind of suspicious. Like they, they're kind of suspicious like why he's acting kind of funny. Okay, they need to, you know what? They're just gonna keep sitting on their throne. That's fine. It's okay. Okay, so they're talking to him and yes, yeah, so he's being very guarded and they can't figure out why. So I feel like he's just kind of like being very strange and I feel like Corinne's getting very frustrated because obviously she just wants to find her family. It explains a lot to her. Like her parents and siblings, she's so close to. So she's telling him like, look, like we need to find them. So I'm gonna have her like share some photos because she's saying like, this is my family. Like, are you sure you have not seen them? Are you sure you don't know what's going on? Because like, this is like a huge thing. Like her family's missing. And like, if, if he can help her and if he's not, like that's just so, so frustrating. So Corinne, is going to share, oh my gosh, sorry guys, I don't know why he's doing this. Um, Corinne is sharing some photos of her family. So he's now seeing her parents. So Corinne is basically telling him what happened. So he, she, she just showed him the pictures. So basically the emperor sees her mother and says he knows her mother because they were actually engaged when they were young and it was an arranged marriage and she was his first love. But her mother, Lily, actually ended up running away and married her father, Victor, and the emperor was like so, so heartbroken, but he still, yeah, like, look, okay, so, yeah, this is working perfectly, guys. Okay, so yeah, he knows 
her mother and and was like super heartbroken when she ran away and her parents who actually ended up passing away they just like they wouldn't talk to her like she cut off all ties with her family so she could marry Corinne's father Victor and Victor was actually from Glimmerbrook but he was a commoner and she like her parents would let her marry him her parents would only want her to marry the emperor but she did not want to marry the emperor so the emperor has just told her all of this and because of this because he knows her mother he is now willing to tell them their deep secret. Now him and Corinne, I feel like, are getting along a little bit more. Like, she's now understanding, like, the Emperor more, so he's saying, like, look, people have been disappearing, we've been trying to keep it a secret, and we've been trying to stop it, but it's, like, this whole other force that's, like, kind of, like, beyond their power. Like, they don't have as much power to, like, control what's happening. So, since they're disappearing, and he's gonna show them why, so he's saying, follow me, like, this is my kingdom's deepest secret. Okay, guys, so Emperor Zhao is going to show them what he knows, you guys. I'm so excited. Okay, so they're following him, so he's basically saying, like, you cannot tell anyone, like, what I'm about to show you. Like, this is why we keep isolated. This is why the kingdom of Selva Dorada stays isolated as well. This so dark too guys it is like 2 a.m so you guys can see Emperor Zhao is over there and he's a very fast runner so he's like this is like taking him beyond the hidden trails and they're gonna go see I know it's so dark and I'm so sorry but hopefully like you guys are gonna be able to see and I think you guys already know what's going to happen so Emperor Zhao is showing them this so he said this is the magical realm sims have been disappearing so if your family has mysteriously disappeared. This is the only thing I can think of. And he's saying, I know someone in there, but it's very dangerous, but I think I know who might have something to do with this. And he said, since it's because of Lily, since that was like his first love, he is going to help her find her. So guys, I am going to be doing a little mini series of Corinne trying to find her family. So it is going to be a mini Magical Realm series. So I'm going to make it separate from the series but I'm going to be continue doing episodes from here as well so you guys if you want to follow Corinne's journey to see her and try to find like her family and try to save them then you guys can watch my magic realm series that I'm going to start doing I know this is like so different and I don't know if any of you guys were expecting it I was sort of like kind I was kind of on edge like doing this and I was scared you guys were going to figure it out because I had like some like Asian themed clothing when I was like going through to sim stuff and you guys could see that I wasn't sure if you could see so I was like worried you guys were gonna find out but I I hadn't had anyone guess about it so I wasn't a hundred percent sure but I know this is so different but I've been wanting to do an Asian inspired kingdom and an African inspired kingdom for a very long time I know Selva Dorada is supposed to be like Mayan themed um so it is a little bit different but I mean we have what we can work with for them and I know like their styles are gonna be so different but guys their stories are so interesting too if you want to learn more about our new royal families, our two new royal families, the royal family of Selva Dorada and the royal family of Glimmerbrook, then you guys can watch my Creative Sim videos that I will be posting this week. So I'll be posting them on different days, but pretty close to each other. So I'll kind of explain like all their backstory. They've got they've got kids and they're just, oh guys, they're so interesting. And I'm so excited because I've got great ideas to incorporate them into our like our storyline and everything too. But guys, we are actually going to do one more thing before I end this episode. This has been something I've been also thinking about for a while too. So, as you guys know, with King Adrian when he was alive, so he had three other mistresses. He might have had more, but he had three that we knew of. And they, he had uh, like a lot of bastard children. So two of those mistresses that we knew of were married. So they kind of like got away with having the kids because they were married. So the, the, the husbands just kind of thought that they were their kids. So we had one of them who was not married. And that was back then that was Lady Harmony. So we're going to go check on Lady Harmony because her her daughter Charlotte is now a teenager and now that King Adrian has died like all of their money originally was coming from from him because he was supporting them secretly and like they can't like show who they are because Queen Lindsay is vicious like she would attack them she would kill them if she found out about like that where like where their whereabouts are because she doesn't want the reputation of of her and her her uh children she doesn't want that to, to what's the what am i what's the word i'm looking for oh she doesn't want to jeopardize their reputation so and also the fact that king adrian did have kids like she doesn't want more kids to like be entitled for inheritance or anything like that and queen Lindsay, the only the only child that she knew of was king adrian's child was charlotte so this is charlotte you guys she has now grown into a teenager as you can see 
leave. They don't have their house anymore because they ha they don't have any more money. Like they have completely run out of money now that King Adrian is not supporting them anymore because he died. And King Adrian didn't tell like Nea or anyone about this before he died because he died so suddenly. Now you guys can see they are like living here in the middle of Sulani, basically this campsite. They've cut off like they don't pay attention to anything else going on really in Sulani. They've kind of like isolated themselves. I know that there's like houses around here, but if you look on the map, the houses like there's really no houses there. So these are just kind of for looks. So they've kind of camped out here. They've lost their house. This right here, Lucy was who King Adrian had kind of dubbed as like the governess for Charlotte. But then since Lucy has ties with Harmony and Charlotte, she also had to be banished too and like run away because otherwise if she found out about her, Lindsay would probably torture her for information to find out where they are. So they all had to run away. So as you guys know, Dean is is now the prince of Sulani. So I also realized that their money said like 400,000 or 500,000. So that's not true. They don't have that much money. So they have like no money. They've run out of money now. So I just fixed that. So basically because with Lucy, I feel like she had like gone into town and had been like shopping for food and she had heard that the princess married this man named Dean who was from Oasis Springs and that like they have two kids and so she came back and kind of told her or I guess I guess Charlotte must have heard and Charlotte's telling her um, that she heard this and asking like is this your brother because I know you have a brother named Dean so I think Harmony's going to look into this so Harmony does already kind of know the king and queen of Sulani, like she's met them once when they had like told her that she can stay here and like they'll they'll keep this area as like a, a reserved place kind of for her so she can like have her life here and it can be like in peace and quiet and kind of like isolate from everything so no one will find out about them so she's met them before and like they probably remember her but like the king and queen of Sulani have not told princess Leilana or prince dean about this at all but she's going to go to the palace the Sulani palace and she's going to see if this is her brother and like obviously you can't just walk into the Sulani palace but we're gonna see if, if she's able to so she's now at the Sulani palace so we need to have her knock on the door because she she does not know if this is her brother. I need to fix that. I just saw that over there. But she does not know if this is her brother. So she is going to find out, you guys. So she's knocking on the doors of the Sulani Palace. Okay, so they said, come on in. So that was actually the back door. I don't know. I guess I have to send that to the front door. So she is in the foyer. I don't see any of the family actually here. Okay, so Princess Leilana is down here. So she's telling her, like, I'm so sorry to intrude, but I heard you had made married someone named Dean and my brother's name is Dean and he's from Oasis Springs and I would like to know if that's my brother um so can I talk to him so I feel like Leilana is like okay like this is a little bit strange but she's gonna go grab Dean for her so Dean has come downstairs okay so she needs to give Dean a big hug because this is her brother you guys so she's going to hug him because this is like a huge thing they haven't seen each other in a really long time I feel like it's been like 15 years like it's been like since Charlotte was born so they're hugging each other because like this is the first time they've seen each other in forever. So I'm gonna have them talk over here because she they have like so much to catch up on. It has been forever since they seen each other because they just they like lost touch. They hadn't they haven't talked at all. She hasn't talked to her family to avoid someone finding out about them. She didn't want to risk anything. So to stay safe. She had to do this and like her mother knew that like she was like had to run away to stay safe But she thought it was like in Strangerville still she didn't realize she had to like run away all this way to Solani And they haven't heard from her in so long and they had to get a hold of her So I feel like Dean and them probably thought like something had happened to them Like they weren't sure at all and she Harmony has been living in Solani She didn't even know about Dean being the prince of Sulani and then Dean had no idea about her either. So now she's just talking to her and telling him everything and they're just like catching up on everything. So basically Harmony is telling Dean like what they've been through and and like learning that like asking about her mother too and not realizing that her mother Countess Carla has passed away like recently passed away a few weeks ago and I remember in the last episode or the one before that I had said like oh uh, Countess Arya's mother died but it was actually also Prince Dean's mother too and Lady Harmony or now Harmony's mother. So basically explaining all this like like, we've been through so much, like, Queen, Dowager Queen Lindsay made us miserable. Like, now, like, Dean is telling her, like, she's not a queen anymore because, uh, well, she knew that because Adrian died, so now it's Queen Nea. Um, and I feel like she's saying, like, we have to make Queen Lindsay miserable, as miserable as she made us. Like, I need your help to do this. I need your help for us to get back on our feet because she's realizing that her brother, her brother's now the prince of where she lives, so she might be able to, like, get away with this and, like, saying, like, 
Queen Lindsay deserves to be miserable and we're going to get revenge on her, guys. So I feel like Dean has to think about this. Like this is obviously a lot to think about. So she has just given him, given him a lot, you guys. So Dean is going to have to think about this. So he's saying like, I'll be right back. I think she's saying like, don't tell your wife, don't tell Leilana. Like this has to be a secret thing. This is between us. Like you're my brother, you have to help me. So Dean has to think about this, you guys. I mean, Harmony just did like a huge, very evil, crazy proposition to him. And of course he wants to help his sister and he wants to meet his niece too. And he wants to help them. So this is gonna be a huge thing. And Dean's gonna have to think about this, you guys. So guys, I'm going to end this episode here. I hope you enjoyed the season finale of the Royal Family. The next episode, the first episode, the Meet the Royals episode is probably going to be posted in a few weeks. I have my, one of my best friend's wedding is coming coming up in a week from now. So it's on the 21st of September. We're so excited and I'm actually the wedding planner for it. So it got a lot to do with that. And then Jake and I, the week after that, are going to be leaving for LA and going to be visiting our friend and looking at apartments and all that for a week. So I'm going to post as many videos as possible. It's going to be a little sporadic. So just so you guys know, I am going to be posting the Create a Sim videos of the new royal families, the royal family of Silva Dorada and the royal family of Glimmerbrook for you guys. So you guys can see that if you want to learn more about them because they're so interesting, you guys, I'm so excited for you guys to see that too. And I love all these storylines, these new storylines that we have for the next season. It's going to be so interesting. We've introduced so many things. And then you guys will also get to see, I'll be doing my mini series of Corinne and following her to help find her parents. And it's just going to be so cool. We're going to discover so many new things and I'm so excited to go into the magic realm. And it's just going to be a big thing. So if you enjoyed this episode, give this video a big thumbs up, hit that like button. If you're new to my channel and have not subscribed yet, please make sure you do and hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to turn on your notifications so you never miss another video. And I will see you guys in the next video and in the next season of the Royal Family. Bye. Thank you.